St. Benedict teaches us in the Holy Rule about hospitality when he says that all guests who present themselves uh, to the monastery are to be received you know, as Christ himself. And we're to invite our guests to uh, pray with us. We're to read the scriptures to them uh, and not only simply enjoy their, their company, because that's not really the heart of, of true Benedictine hospitality, but true Benedictine hospitality is really in receiving Christ. In the guests that come to us, St. Benedict makes a very special point of, of the importance of recognizing Christ in them. It's another experience of encounter with Christ to, to reach out to the people who come to this place. Even in St. Benedict's time, Benedict mentions that guests are always present. There are always guests that come to the monastery, and that always has remained true. And understandably so, uh, if, if a monastery is a place in which people recognize a certain holiness, a certain um, hospitality, a certain charity, uh, a certain goodness, all of that is very attractive. If, the, if, the, if it's a place of, of holiness, they, they're attracted to that and they, they can come and, and share in that holiness, share in that uh, encounter with God. There are many purposes uh, for the monastic guest house. We have group retreats. Most every weekend of the year uh, is taken with group retreats, groups from maybe 20 to 50 or 60 uh, can be accommodated uh, here. Uh, there are also individuals and a growing number of people who are seeking opportunities for uh, real quiet and solitude, time to read and get away from the noises of the world. So they come to the monastery to have that silence, to pray with the monks and share common meals uh, with other people who come here on retreat. And one of the particular things at Mount Angel is that we always have a monk eating with the guests. I'd like to speak of this mountain as, as, a, as a holy mountain. Uh, I like to think of it as, a, uh, as mountains have been in, in, the, in the scriptures, in the Old Testament, the New Testament, um, Mount Sinai, Mount Tabor, the, those are places of encounter, places of, of revelation, where Jesus are, uh, revealed himself or where God spoke. And, and the same thing is true here. This has been, I've been here for over 50 years in this monastery, and, and, and I know that it's true, that this is a place of encounter, this is a holy mountain. And, uh, and so others can come as guests and can, can share in that encounter, can come into the silence and into the prayer and into the worship and into the charity. Uh, and renew their own experience of God and can go back out into the world refreshed and, and renewed. So uh, that's all part of the, the vision, I think, that, that is here.